Okay. Hello there and welcome everyone. This is Flora Brown from Color Your Life Published. Here with you today to introduce you to my friend and colleague, business and personal coach, Shireen Erton. Shireen is going to be sharing with you some great tips today and also give you an opportunity to work with her. So I am going to turn this over to Shireen and ask you to be attentive, get your notes ready and your favorite beverage. I know you're going to learn something that's going to make a big difference in the new you. Welcome. Hi, Shireen. Thank you, Flora. That was very fun. And I just wanted to welcome everyone to this webinar and congratulations on taking the first step toward a new you. I also want to thank Flora for being the host. She will also be monitoring your questions, so just use the chat box over there on the side if you have any questions and she'll take it from there. Today we're going to talk about a new you evolution. Turning your resolutions into evolutions by setting real goals, learning why resolutions fail and how to fail proof them, four steps to making your evolutions, and the secret weapon to guarantee your success. Now if you would please get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil and draw 10 horizontal lines. Put a 1 at the left end of the line and a 10 at the right end of each of those lines. So your page should look like, uh-oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> yes. Great. First slide. <laughs> okay. And while you're doing that, I will introduce myself, and we'll get back to this page later. Um, after 25 years in corporate working in HR and investor relations, I decided that I really needed to do something special, something more personal. I discovered coaching. I got my certification and have been a full-time personal coach for a little over two years now. I decided on coaching rather than counseling or therapy because of its concentration I'm getting people moving forward rather than dwelling in the past. I have specialized communication skills and help you identify what you want, clarify who you are, and develop strategies to reach your goals. Most coaching is done by phone or via Skype, so you don't even have to leave the comfort of your home or office. Pretty simple. A new you is a three-month coaching program designed to help you set better goals and actually achieve them. Crossing things off your to-do list can be the most satisfying thing in the world. This actually started a couple of years ago when I was talking with some friends about, a new, year, about new Year's resolutions, or rather the lack of them. <laughs> we decided that the word resolution seemed to imply some sort of conflict that needed to be resolved. What we wanted was something that made us better an evolution. And because you can start this evolution anytime, it doesn't even have to be at New Year. One of my favorite quotes is, move forward, don't look back. If you feel it in your gut and you know it is the right thing to do, then do it. Press on. Make the changes in your life that result in a better you. That's from the book, Why Not? I did some research and found a study by Richard Wiseman from the University of Bristol involving 3,000 people. The study showed that 88% of resolutions fail. In fact, only 52% of participants were confident of their success in the beginning. Men achieved their goals 22% more often if they engaged in goal setting, not thinking your goals, bite size, smaller bite size goals. And how many times have we heard that you're supposed to tell all of your friends and family so that you have their support? Well, that only helped by 10 patients. Because these statistics were very discouraging to me, I decided to develop a program to help people make and reach their goals. A new you evolution consists of four steps to making and achieving your goals. First is picking the right goal. We use three assessments to determine your goal based on what you really want and need in your life. 
Second, we break those goals down into smaller bite-sized goals. We talk weekly for accountability and strategy sessions for three full months. And finally, we celebrate your success and work out any obstacles that may have come up. These are the top 10 resolutions as compiled by the U.S. government. Why the government compiles resolutions, I have no idea, but they did. So how many of these have you made? How many have you broken? What's the one thing that you would accomplish in the next 12 months if you knew that you could not fail? You might write that down on a piece of paper just for reference later. Now think about the way your life would be better if you could accomplish just that one goal. How are you going to accomplish this? Self-motivation? How often have you said, I just need to get myself motivated? Or do you like to make it into a bet with friends or colleagues? You may not look out as well. Or do you have a trusty friend that will keep you on track? Or not? Did you know that a goal only has 25% chance of being successful once you've made that conscious decision? But 95% of goals are successful when you have a specific appointment with someone who will be holding you accountable. That's where a coach comes in. So if you struggle, if you get frustrated, finally give up on your resolutions, or you don't bother making them because you know how they'll turn out, this is the program for you. When something evolves, it's getting rid of something unnecessary and perfecting what is good and necessary. Much like a new plant, when you want a plant, you pick out the seed first. That's the assessment where we're going to pick out what your goal is. That's the assessment to help you decide what that goal should be. Then you plant the seed. That's breaking it down into the bite size pieces. You water the seed. That's the weekly accountability. And you weed around the seed, that's the strategy that we need. So we start with the assessment. The three assessments are designed to help you clarify what is a true goal versus a should goal. So many resolutions don't work because they aren't true goals. They're just something that someone or some commercial said that you should do. If you're not totally invested in the goal, it's just too easy to let it slide. So getting clear and setting a true goal is the first step. And as a little fun, we're going to do one of those assessments right now. So if you would get the piece of paper that I had you draw the lines on. The life assessment wheel is the first and most important of the assessments. There are five key elements to well-being. Career, your social, your financial, your physical, and your community. Now I took those areas and I broke them down into 10 areas on your life wheel. That is what the 10 lines on your piece of paper represent. So we're going to rate each of those 10 areas on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being lowest and 10 being highest. And we're going to put an X on the line for representing how important each of these areas is, and then O to represent how satisfied you are at this point in time. So, the first line is aesthetic. This is how things look to you. With one being lost and ten being highest, put an X on that first line to represent how important aesthetic is to you. Then put an O to represent how satisfied you are with the way things around you look right now. Do you like the way things look, or are you irritated by them? The second one is employment. This is your career. Is it your life, how you identify yourself, or is it just a job, a means to a paycheck, and it really doesn't mean that much to you? Again, put an X to represent how important your employment is, 
and an O2 represent how satisfied you are at this point in time. So I have a question on the uh, career one, uh, Shireen. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I What's can't wrong? pause. What happened? I couldn't pause. I couldn't pause the the pictures. I did it. I did it wrong. Oh. Okay. Not oh, where. What was your question? Oh, um, I wanted to go back a little bit uh, to on the life assessment wheel. So we're looking at the first one is you said how things look around us. You mean in terms of how we view our life overall? These are the aesthetics. This is how you. Oh, aesthetics. Okay, your environment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you like to have your books lined up by height rather than <laughs> by alphabetical, okay. that's aesthetics. Okay. okay. I guess that should be. Uh, and then the second uh, one was the career. The second one is career. Okay. And okay. career, you're talking about the job we currently have and how satisfied we are with it. Exactly. Okay. We're all you're talking about right okay. now at this point in time. Okay. And if you're retired, are you satisfied with that? Or if you're out of work, is that okay with you? Okay. All right. All right. So the third line is for finances and money. Now, some people believe that money is the root of all evil, but they prefer bartering. But those people would rate it somewhere below a five. But other people see money as extremely valuable, as something to strive for, Warren Buffett. So you can put an X for importance and an O for satisfaction regarding your situation right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> is your home and living environment. So think about your home. Do you like the house? Do you like the community? Do you like the city? Do you like the country you live in? I want to think play all of those. I want to play devil's advocate right here and ask how does this one differ from aesthetics back at number one? Um in terms your of your home is is we're really looking at the physical house okay. and where it is okay in your like in your community and so they they are they do go together okay and like I say um, you know it's one of those elements that I broke them apart so if if you live in this house that's on the screen now um, but you don't have a high aesthetic importance, that's not going to bother you. Okay. But if your aesthetic is high and you live in that, this house, okay. that's going to be causing you stress. Does that make sense? Okay. So aesthetics has to do with how important our environment is to us in terms of whether we like things in a certain order or certain, right. we have these certain yeah. standards yeah. Uh, that we like to have in existence. Okay. All right. I think I got right. it. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good question. Good question. Sure. Okay. So that's your home and your living environment. Um, I'll give you just a chance to think about the X's and O's, X for importance, O for um, satisfaction. And again, let's see satisfaction as things are at this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that was line four, correct? That was line four. And my slide was supposed to continue moving forward by itself. Okay. okay. I don't know where my slides are moving. If your slides are not moving, just move your cursor down lower on the screen. And let me move mine off the screen. Over to the far right and then try clicking it again. Whoops. There, that's, that's there that's you go. <laughs> it has to sort of be in a certain spot, it seems, in order to change. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Well, we we skipped a bunch of them, but I don't know how to go back. Well, okay. The fifth 
line is your personal development. This includes personal fulfillment, spirituality, lifelong learning. Think about how you feel about yourself now. Are you irritated or frustrated with yourself? Do you think that you can do better? Or are you perfectly happy with yourself? And this is in general or in relation to other people or just our general satisfaction with ourselves? Your, your personal development. This okay. It's about you and how you feel about yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. The sixth line is health. And this is how your health is at this point in time. But I want you to also think about have you seen a doctor or dentist lately? Are you up to date on your eye exam? But also, are there any genetic issues that you need to address or that you may need to address? Mm. Okay. Number seven is recreation, your leisure and social time. How important is that to you right now? And how satisfied are you with the amount of leisure time you have and how you spend it? There are so many people that wait until retirement to mm -hmm. have their leisure time. That's true. Mm -hmm. The eighth line is love and intimacy. If you're in a relationship right now, how is it going? Is it still exciting or is it gone stagnant? If you're not in a long-term relationship, is that where you want to be right now? <laughs> how important that is, you'd be surprised. So if you want to be in one and you're not, you're down there at zero, is that it? <laughs> yeah, but I can't tell you how many people I talk to that are in a relationship and don't want to be. <laughs> oh, right, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there are people who aren't in relationships but are happy with that situation. And they are perfectly happy. Yes. I actually I have a client right now that's like that. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> the ninth line is the internal family and these are the people that you live with, whether you're related to them or not. These are the people that are in your house all the time. Mm. And how do you get along with them? How's that working out for you? And the last one is your external family. These are the people that you're related to but probably don't live with. So think about how your relationship is with your parents, your siblings, any other relationships that you might have. Think about if there's anybody that, that you need to connect with or reconnect with. Is there any unresolved conflict with anybody? Think about what if you were to meet this relative at a funeral or a wedding? Would there be a fight? Would she go have to separate you? Or would you greet them like an old friend? Hmm. So, that is the life assessment rule. And you'll end up with a piece of paper that looks something like this. Now, when I get these assessments, these areas here, are what I'm looking at, the ones that have the biggest gaps. Now these are the areas that are causing you stress, irritation, frustration, anxiety, sleepless nights, and potentially even physical illness. This is going to show us where we want to start with making our goals. We want to close those gaps. Right? You want to be satisfied with the things that are most important to you. So how does yours look? Hmm. Is it even close to the resolution that you wrote down earlier? <laughs> hmm. I'm sure there will be Think people about. responding to this. Um, you could, <laughs> yeah. you could, we could ask those people who feel that they are close to their resolutions to say yes in the question box. Oh, perfect. How yeah. many we get? And um, that will be quite telling. And then that be that very would, <laughs> ask how many people are, did not, or, you know, are not there, and we can have them say, nope, not there yet, or something like that, yeah. or not satisfied, because okay. this is about okay. satisfaction, too, with where you are. Absolutely. Satisfaction is the most important. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So, so getting satisfied in those areas that are most important is what will make you happier. That's, that's your goal in life. So when you do the life assessment wheel on the website, you'll get a picture that looks like this. As you can see, this is the area that I'm going to emphasize on with the person that did this wheel. I don't even know who that was. But based on what they've shown, we're going to start looking at their personal development and fulfillment area. From that, we go on to the other two assessments, the stress test and the clean sleep. So the life wheel is going to tell us what area to start working on. Then the stress test is going to pinpoint what is causing your stress in these areas, clarify what you need to do to clear that stress. Then the clean sleep identifies the nagging little things that you're just tolerating, the things you're just putting up with. And we're going to figure out how to completely clear those. So it's like the life wheel is, is the big part of the funnel. Then the stress test narrows down where the stress is. And that, that's a pretty major one. We probably already know most of that. But then the clean sweep really shows the, the pinpoint, the tolerating. Because oftentimes we tolerate things so long that we don't even notice that we're tolerating it. Like, is the bed made every day? So, you might not even notice. You might not care any longer because it's been so long since the bed was made. So this is going to give us the actual goal based on what is going on in your life right now. This program works because you learn how to know the difference between a true goal and a false goal and you set the true goal, something that's important to you. You'll learn how to prioritize those goals, and we'll have weekly coaching calls where we'll strategize, put into action, evaluate those actions, and strategize again, going back to action, evaluate, and strategize. Every week we're going to clear all of this out. So the four steps to achieving your goal are set the right goal for you. Don't do something because someone else says you should. And using the life wheel and the other assessment tools will help you determine those based on the key elements that we know that you need for well-being. Step number two is to turn that goal into manageable bite-sized steps that you know you can manage. Step three is having weekly accountability and strategy sessions with someone like a coach. Step four is celebrating your success. And the secret weapon, hire a coach. Yay, that is true. Hiring a coach is very important. Coaches, <laughs> coaches help you achieve your goal. They keep you on track. They clarify what's blocking you. They help you when you get stuck, and they celebrate your success. So I know a lot of you are thinking, yeah, but my friends can do that. Well, yeah, your friends could do that. But how has that worked out for you so far? Since you're on this call, I'm thinking that perhaps you need someone that's a little more professional in this area. So, to sign up, you can go to mynewpossibilities.com slash a-new-u.html. And because I wanted everyone to be able to afford this program, I've made it as easy as I can with three levels of commitment. First of all, all, of, all three of the assessments are free on my website, mynewpossibilities.com. Then level one is just the assessment evaluation and a goal setting session. That's $50. Then there is the assessment evaluation, goal setting session, and one month of coaching for $200 or the full package, which is the three months. Now with the full package, you get the assessment, the professional evaluation, three months of weekly accountability and strategy sessions, a personalized 
workbook for our weekly appointments, and a daily journal that can be used for a whole year. Here's what some of my past clients have had to say after they finished the program. And I would also like to tell you about one of my past clients, an older woman, came to me saying that she really wanted to lose weight. She had a lot of weight that she wanted to lose, but her assessment didn't indicate there was any reason or motivation for her to lose weight. After reviewing her life feel, her recreation area had a pretty big gap. I learned that there was a certain hike that she wanted to do, but just hadn't been able to make it. When we put together the strategy for making this hike, she started working on her baby steps. Then the weight started coming off by itself, so there was no real painful struggling with a diet exercise plan. She was doing this to make her hike, not just to lose weight. She was much more motivated, and she did make that hike. So again, to sign up, you can go to my website, the price is here, but also if you, because you took this webinar, if you sign up for any of the first three options and later decide to go on to the full packet, I'll apply the previous payments to the full packet. Hmm. Also, if you're signing up for the $50 or $200 or the full package levels, in the next 24 hours, you get an additional two free lifeline sessions. That is two full sessions you can use any time up to 12 months after you finish this program. That's a $100 value, two calls, two more calls. So if you start to slip, or you're feeling stuck, or you just need some encouragement, You've got those two calls that you can use any time wow. per year. Now that's with the full package. That's when you that's when you buy the, the full package. Okay, you get the two additional calls. Right. Okay. All right. right. And again, if you if you start out with the fifty dollar or the two hundred dollar, and then you go on to the full package, you'll get that as well. Okay. For being on the. So how about if someone decides to get the $200 assessment evaluation package and mm -hmm. then later decides to go to the full package, can they apply that? The $200 will yes. be applied to yes. the full package. Yes. And if you, if you sign up for the $50, that $50 will be applied to what? the full package as well. All right. Okay. I got it. All right. Okay. And remember, my website is www.mynewpossibilities.com. And to register for this program, add a forward slash dash new dash u dot html. Do they need the A in there? So it's A dash new yes. dash u? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to type that into the question box because that way it will be a live link. Okay. And Perfect. people You're can uh, go right on over there if they like. Uh -oh. You're wonderful. So I'll open it up for questions. And then I'll close with I want to thank you all for attending this webinar. And I do look forward to helping you reach your goal. That's wonderful. I'm typing the um, URL in the chat mm -hmm. box. So for those who don't uh, want to try to Remember all of this, or I can't write it down fast yeah. enough. Absolutely. Okay, so it's right there. There we go. And it's a okay. live link. You can go right on over there. Thank you so much, Shereen, for sharing with us how we can become a new you and not suffer through <laughs> the disappointment, <laughs> especially this time of year, the disappointment of having made resolutions back at the beginning of the year and, you know, realizing now that we've long ago... Most of them have already been broken. Long ago. <laughs> we, we broke them long ago. <laughs> and unfortunately, some people think that they have to wait till the end of the year or wait to some certain point to set up new resolutions. Well, of course, that's ridiculous because you can start at any point of the year to work on Absolutely. the new you. 
and especially when you have the expert guidance you just shared with us the importance of that coaching. Right, and that's the beauty of this program because it's three months. It's not a year-long program, so you don't say, oh, well, if it's a year-long program, like, you may as well start in January. Mm -hmm. It's only three months. You can start any time. And that's excellent because that is another thing that probably deters people from programs if they think it's going to be a long haul. And this one is uh, exactly. this one's not scary at all because it's just three months. And my goodness, that means we still have a lot of the year left to get better, improve ourselves, reach those goals we dropped back at the beginning of the year. This is wonderful. I want to thank you so much for sharing. I want to remind everyone to dash over to http colon forward slash double slashes mynewpossibilities.com forward slash a dash new dash u dot html and take advantage of this program right now. Uh, if there are no other questions, did you have any parting words, Shireen, before we leave the webinar? I just want to thank everybody for your attention and hope to work with you all soon. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.